Hey, so this is an update on the CNC machine, and the big thing I'm looking at doing now is flood cooling. And uh, so some of the changes I've had to do for that is, uh, well, the spoil board can't be, it's gotta be waterproof. So right now I'm gonna eventually make a fixture table. So I have one in here just kind of put together. Uh, this is just, uh, I think it's half inch aluminum right now and just a ton of holes, I think quarter inch holes. And then I think it's 25 millimeters distance between the holes. And uh, just the way, so this is, uh, uh, this just fits, it's slightly undersized to the, the workable area of the machine. And the plan is to uh, face and mill all the holes and also thread the holes, do it all on the machine. And then that way I can go right to the edge and I won't have like a lip or anything. Uh, but unfortunately, because uh, uh, because of the size of it, I don't have a lot of um, supporting material underneath to hold it down. So I've had to add in uh, these extra supporting cross members. And I might even add more. I might even, because right here on this side and then on this side, there's nothing supporting them. So I have a bunch of extra steel, so I might even put even more in there. And obviously these would be hard to bolt in. So what I'll do is I'll grind away some of the paint and put some welds on, on just the sides here. And yeah, we'll lock everything down so it doesn't move. And hopefully it doesn't warp. Uh, if it does, well, I don't think it will because uh, if I if I weld, the, let's say this side or the you know the other, the one on the top there, uh, as the the weld's cool, they're probably gonna warp and they're probably gonna push things up, and obviously that wouldn't be good. But if uh, every, if everything's clamped tight and I I do it on these edges, the stress just should, should just be localized to that area. Uh, so in the end, the uh, the bottom here will be all one piece, and then the uh, sides here they're gonna stay bolted on. So if things do move slightly, uh, hopefully I won't have much of an issue because there is a bit of a, a gap in there uh, for movement. Um, what else on this? Uh, Yeah, so like what I'll do is uh, I, I will make a temporary spoil board to put on top of this, uh, well, before this and face it off and uh, do what a lot of other people do. And then once I'm, I'm confident enough I can mill this thing, uh, at that point I will have a flat surface so I can uh, mount this uh, fixture plate down and then, you know, mill it. So let me uh, let me show the uh, the table now. So the uh, right now the skeleton of the table, well the enclosure, the frame up here, and the big rectangle there. I've I've I have that stuff put together, and uh, what I've changed now is. I have some sheet metal in there, um, stainless steel, uh, 20 gauge, and I've encompassed the entire inside with that. And it's done in a way, so uh, let me actually just open up one of these, just might be easier. Okay, so here's here's the floor only, the, the table only. Uh, so really the only thing that's changed is I've removed some gussets that were holding in there just because they're getting in the way of things. And I've just put more gussets on the bottom here. I think hopefully that should be enough. And this uh, sheet metal piece, if I flatten it, so that's what it looks like. Uh, those are all the folds and whatnot. And there is one over here as well. So a smaller little piece, and it looks like that. 
Uh, so this would just fit right in on the inside. Uh, what you do, would, you would slide it in and then push it up. And then I would have some kind of fasteners or, or something to keep it in there. And then in the end, uh, after all that, I would go in on the inside or the outside and uh, I would just seal up the, the sides and the bottom. And yeah, I don't know what the angle of this is. It might be something around uh, six or five degrees, but uh, yeah, maybe that's fine. And this just goes down into a just a big square right now, uh, 12 inch by 12 inch. And that's where all the rest of the plumbing, the, uh, the filtration and, you know, the oil skimming and whatnot, all that kind of plumbing would, would just go down there. I just, I don't have that stuff figured out yet. And, uh, what else? Yeah, these, uh, well, all the, all the stainless steel sheets on this, uh, I will have to go and kind of probably slice things up a little more because right now this is, so this is 58 inches here and well, this one's like, yeah, 64. So I think the standard size sheet metal sheets are four by eight feet, I think. So what I'll probably have to do is slice, uh, well, I'll just have to slice it up and there'll have to be some extra welds just to put everything together, unless I can find bigger sheets. So I don't, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to call around and see what I can find. And uh, let me, let me go out of this. Back in here. Um, so that's the bottom. Top is very similar. And uh, that's what the top is. It kind of, so it kind of comes in a little bit and that just gets around the uh, the bottom of the table. And then these things are same deal. It's just one big giant sheet. This one could be, uh, this is less than four feet tall, but it is long. It's 131 inches or so. So I think they make sheets that big. So I might be lucky and not have to cut this thing up. And that way I can just keep the folds nice. So I'll, I'll zoom in on how this stuff kind of connects together. So let me just, uh, There we go. Make it a little easier. So the uh, top part, it comes in and it overlaps. So the way this thing is gonna work with uh, keeping the water out is just a large overlapping top and bottom. So the, uh, and that goes for the top as well. So when this comes down and mind you, this, this is made so it'll you know, I might have to increase the gap here, but this is meant to just slide right in and then it'll it'll slide right in on those tubes. Like that. And that way no water should, should come in and leak on the sides and stuff. The only place that water will leak right now, uh, let me open this up again. Try to. <laughs> there we go. Let's make it a little easier to see this. So when this goes down, uh, I wanted to have some kind of overlapping of the sheet metal of the front door onto this, but I don't see no way of bending it. So right now I just have everything flush together and I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do with uh, with that piece there. So if you have an idea, let me know. Uh, I could maybe try just seeing how weather stripping works because in all reality, I don't think it's ever gonna be that flush. Uh, 
the uh, skeleton here after it's been welded it is really close but it's not perfect uh, especially down at the bottom here after kind of hammering out uh, some of the, the warpage and whatnot uh, the gap down here between these two is a little more than it should be uh, so the, yeah so maybe some some kind of door weather stripping or or something might might be a good option for for doing this uh, because I yeah I don't think there's any way to overlap that uh, so yeah so that's sheet metal all around this is a the front window is going to be a piece of Lexon, Lexan, and I don't know what how thick to go. I think this is just an eighth of an inch right now, uh, but maybe maybe that should be thicker. I'll have to kind of think about this a little more. But yeah, that's a standard size four by eight piece of Lexan would would fit in there. Uh, this this window is smaller than that, so I can just cut it out and. Uh, That'll protect you from any, uh, you know, broken uh, end mills and stuff from coming at you. Uh, but the sheet metal sides, the stainless steel sides, uh, that's not going to stop anything. So what I'll have to do is put uh, some some infor uh, inserts, like reinforced something, either plywood or MDF. Maybe plywood would be better, just because it's going to be lighter. And... I would put those, especially on the front and then on the sides, and probably even on the top and, you know, all of these uh, inserts. I don't think it's necessary on the bottom just because uh, an end mill is going to be coming off in a direction to the sides or front or back. Uh, but yeah, the uh, something uh, something a little more solid than just the sheet metal certainly would help with the the noise and and also like these sheet metal uh, pieces from vibrating back and forth and you know making ton of racket the uh, the pan on the bottom most likely I'm gonna have to add some reinforcing uh, tube steel or, or something in there uh, just because I don't think it's gonna hold the shape so I'll have to figure out what to do about that and what else am I missing? I think that's it. Uh, so that's that's how it looks now. Uh, I have to finish my garage and then I can continue working on this. But I just wanted to get the... Uh, uh, an initial concept of what I'll be doing in case I gotta start thinking about ordering and finding material now. Uh, if you have any ideas or things I've completely forgot about for doing full flood cooling. Uh, oh, also, yeah, the so like the motors and the the limit sensors and, and whatnot. So I'll have to have some kind of uh, enclosed area for that stuff I would think uh, just because of the combination of uh, the the fluid plus you know tiny tiny little pieces of metal and whatnot it's just gonna get everywhere and it it might cause, cause problems uh, and also the uh, when I get around to changing uh, some of these parts out for uh, aluminum or steel pieces I'll have to definitely make sure I, I don't have any standing surfaces. So for instance, on this one I've uh, this this holder here, this this uh, clear uh, piece, the uh, the limit switch, the the one in there, like it fits underneath and it, that's how it's meant to go in there. but like standing water and everything's gonna get in there and it's it's going to cause issues, I think, in the long run. It's just going to fill up with tiny little chips and solidify, and yeah. So I'll probably have to make all the, you know, same with underneath the motor and whatnot. I'll have to make sure that the uh, everything's slanted so just things will dry quicker. 
and uh, yeah, that's that's as far as I got with this. Um, still super new with uh, the idea of flood cooling, uh, but I'm I'm gonna try it. So we'll see how it goes.